I am so excited to be back and I'm so excited to be cooking with all of you and I'm so happy that we're able to do this today and for those of you that are tuning in now, fantastic. I will be putting it on my highlights, do not worry. You can come back. In the meantime, get your cocktails ready. I've got my bum cup ready because as you know, we like cooking with a cocktail. All right, I'm going to get my vegetables ready and then I'll walk you through it. Of course my Wi-Fi went down the moment I started my first video in one and a half years. <laughs> anyway, we're back on my 5G, so let's just fingers cross. We've still got the music, so that's good. Um, so we're back. We're here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm more importantly happy to be here for the cause that I'm with. And um, I want to walk through what we're going to be cooking today, and I'm going to get back to it and be talking all nonsense. And then um, I'm really, really excited to be to be chatting about Race Against Dementia today and to be talking about what we're trying to do, what they're trying to do, how important it is, how important it is to have you alongside us. Um, but yeah, I think this evening will be a really nice time. And uh, it's a Friday night and this is the coolest thing you could be doing. Anyway, shall we start? Let's start. All right. Today, we are gonna do a beef stew because that is my favorite kind of cooking the moment the sun starts leaving us, even though the sun decided to come out today, which wasn't helpful for my recipe. But we're gonna be doing a cozy beef stew. I love one pot dishes. I love how you can host with them. You can keep them in the fridge. You basically have so many meals in one pot, which is really handy when you like to cook for people. So I have got some wonderful chopped bits of beef. And the reason why it's going to be even better when we cook it is because it's going to be cooking for a really long time. It'll get nice and tender. I've got some smoky pancetta. Mmm, smoky. And I've got some cute little mushrooms. Vegetables, carrots, celery, bay leaves that my mummy grew. And then I'm going to do a sweet potato mash. Oh, and some of this. Original Guinness. Because, yeah. Oh, and onions and garlic and chilli. So many things. Okay, we're going to start by browning our beef. Yes, browning our beef is essential. Pop it in your pan, get your pan on, uh, put some oil in the pan. How many times can I say pan, pan? Pop your beef in, um, salt it, pepper it, and stare at it lovingly. That's the most crucial point. My goodness, that is going to be beautiful. All right, I'm then going to start chopping up these and these and some garlic and some onion, even though I haven't got the garlic and the onion out. Um, yeah. How is everyone doing? First question, how were your summers? How are you doing preparing for Christmas being right around the corner? How is everybody's cooking coming along? Oh, and I'm already crying. Wow, that was, that's a pungent onion. My goodness, we are crying. I'm not even doing a scene. Woo! All right. I have got the beef going. It's nice and brown. I've just chopped up my carrots. I've left the skin on because I like a bit of skin. And done my onions. I'm going to chop these up. Once that is nice and browned on all the sides and you've salted and peppered the meat, pop all of this in the same pan so that they can start softening and dancing together and getting nice and juicy and happy and friends. Um, so now that those are cooking along nicely, I just wanted to focus on what we're doing and what we're trying to talk about. Um, I'm here because of Race Against Dementia, as well as cooking, obviously. I have been working with them for the last few months over the summer. If it's a charity that you do not know, have a little look at the link that I posted and the link that I posted in my bio. I think what they're doing is really inspiring and really cool and really exciting. And I'm so happy to be aligning with them. 
um, just in the few days that I've been posting about it, the stories that I've received from all of you living amongst dementia, living around it, is um, it's really it's breathtaking, it's shocking, it's saddening. I'm really excited about involving all of you about trying to find a cure and backing what Race Against Dementia have been doing so well. More to come, gotta stir the Sorry, the end of the video cut out because I don't know my timing. Um, I needed to stir the pot, it was going on. Uh, I'm gonna add some garlic now because I forgot to do that. Um, I'm probably gonna add like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cloves of garlic. No, but I do love garlic and I could do that. But I won't because then my friends won't like eating my food. Um, okay, so I'm going to add these. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. Yes, I do. Then I'm going to add the booze. It should all be looking a bit like this. I'm going to pop the kettle on. Ooh, the steam. Pop the... Oh. Bloody Nora, I'm going to pop the kettle on to get some beef stock going. Um, and then what am I going to do? Then I'm going to do pancetta. So many different orders. I don't know. I cook with the flow. I lied. I didn't lie. I didn't know, but I lied. So we're the order of events is that I essentially just jumped the gun and I put the pancetta in because I was like, oh my God, the pancetta, pancetta. So I'm going to um, get yourself an OXO cube. I'm doing such a funny crouch pose thing right now. I don't have a Pyrex jug or, or, or any jug because I don't know. I moved in and I forgot to get one. So I'm just going to use a bowl, <laughs> but use your Pyrex jug. Get that boiling water, fill up your stock cube, because that's going to go in that pot of goodness, along with the Guinness, along with the pancetta, which I've already put in. Sorry, I missed telling you that bit. I forgot to say that we needed tomato puree as well. This is crucial, and I'm going to put this in before I do the stock because it's gonna make it a really nice, thick, rich consistency. Um, if you don't have it, try without, who knows? Maybe you'll find something even better. But I'm gonna put this in before I put in the stock, like you kind of go at the same time, and then it's gonna become, then it's gonna become something even tastier. I understand, oh, I can speak then. I understand I'm being slightly forgetful. But in all fairness, it is my first cooking show back in a year and a half. And there's lots to juggle here. Like remembering things out of the fridge and making sure I don't, you know, mess up for you guys. Anyway, I'm sorry. This is my practice run. Okay, that's all done. I'm gonna stir that through, add the stock, add the Guinness. What else do I need to add? I think that's it for now. Ooh, chili. Okay, now that I've successfully pulled my jeans up. Wait. I once did a Guinness factory tour when I was living in Ireland and it was amazing. You should totally do it if you're ever there. So I'm going to add that. I don't think I'm going to add all of it. Or maybe I should. Maybe that's enough. I'll finish the rest. Adding that, adding some chili. And then I think we're just going to let that cook for a bit. Um, and I can explain what the next steps are to working with this fantastic charity. So, Race Against Dementia. It's a fantastic charity. It was founded in 2016 by the Sir Jackie Stewart, who uh, is the F1 legend. His wife was sadly diagnosed with dementia and this was, this was his creation. It is so important for us to know about it. 
young people especially, because we need you to know about it. We need you to understand. I'm learning with it as well. One in three people born today will die with dementia, which is just, it's crazy that we don't have a cure with those numbers. I have something really exciting to share with you, which is that the road to figuring out this cure is so inclusive and so exciting, and we need you to help us. So Race Against Dementia, all of the funds go towards research towards dementia. But the coolest part is that the money that you donate, whether it's one pound, five pounds, 20 pounds or 20 pennies, or even if you can't do that and you just follow the page and you just understand and learn and, and, and research with us, all of that goes towards scientific teams that Race Against Dementia have found and backed inspiring scientists that all have the same goal, which is to find a cure. Now, there are many different teams, and I have a team. And the link that I'm about to send to you guys is the team Florence Pugh Race Against Dementia team that you can donate to and you can help these amazing people try and figure out a way to stop this horrible disease. So interestingly, the scientists that have been funded receive mentorship and F1 mindset training from Race Against Dementia. The research teams will work on all different areas of dementia, what is causing it, how to prevent it, what can help it, the drugs that can be taken. Um, it's a full-blown operation, all pointing in the right direction. Are you intrigued? I hope you are, because I certainly am. Really interesting concept. You know, we have teams around the world. We have racing teams. We have sports teams. This charity is backing a scientific team, five scientific teams that you can support and you can donate to and you can learn with and you can follow their research. You know, 55 million people around the world are either living with dementia or living around it. It's a lot of people, a lot of people that are looking for an answer and it's just gonna keep on growing. So I hope that I have slightly intrigued you today in the help that we need you to do and even if it was just to learn a bit about it, then fantastic. But have a little look at the link, have a little look at the page, and I hope to see you down the line. I did just check it, don't worry. I, I slightly forgot about it because I was really inspired to talk to you all, but it's fine, I haven't tried it, I will try it. I just suddenly had a thought. I think I fancy putting some Worcester sauce in, this is what it looks like, in case you fancy grabbing that out of your cupboard. I'm gonna chop some chili, because I want it like wintry spice, warm, something warm and cozy to come home to. And then these cute little mushrooms. That is fine. Just gonna pick them up. Put them back in the bowl. Yes, okay, I'm gonna try now. That is happening. Let me turn. Wow, here we go. Oh, yes. I have popped my sweet potatoes on the boil because they are going to be a sweet potato mash. That's still going. That's going. I just fed Billy. She was hungry. She's gone. I'm just going to wait for those to boil and then I'm going to hold off putting the mushrooms in because I don't want them to go soggy and sad. I'd much rather put them in at the very end so they can stay a little bit chewy. Um, but we're nearly there. Once that is mashed, because I've just tried the meat and it's already falling apart. Guys, I've already been notified that you've already been donating from all around the world. Wow, thank you so much. That means a huge deal. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to the followers I have. I'm so grateful to the people that have come to tune in. I'm really excited to have you on board. Thank you so much so far. That is a really, really wonderful feeling. And um, I can't wait to continue this journey with you all. Yay! 
then add a massive knob of butter. Because we love butter in this household. Learned that important fact from my father. Butter should be covering everything. Mash it. Oh my goodness. I'm quite excited about this meal. So I'm gonna um, salt and pepper this sweet potato mass. Oh, there we go. Then I'm gonna ladle up because it's time. <laughs> Wait, I need the ladle. That is winter in a bowl. And I've had the best audience. Thank you so much for listening and watching today. If you were cooking along, I'm sorry for the haphazardness. It was my first day back. I'll be better for next time. There'll be a next time. Thank you for listening, for all of the things that I was rambling on about. Most importantly, thank you for supporting Race Against Dementia. And thank you for showing your love. Really appreciate it. And I can't wait to share more about this journey. See you next time. This is delicious.